leave to ask the question in my name on the order paper. Call the Minister, Lord Ahmad of Wimbledon. My Lord, the United Kingdom remains concerned about reports of human rights violations in Colombia, and we have raised our concerns with the relevant state actors since the protests began. We welcome the Colombian government's commitment to transparent investigations into allegations of excessive force and to take appropriate action against those responsible. The British government attaches real importance to the principles underpinning the UK and Indian trade agreement and expects our partners to do the same. Of Ladyton. I thank the noble lord, uh, the minister, for his reply. My lords, the uh, UK's 2019 continuity trade agreement with Colombia commits the Duque government to respect human rights and democratic principles. The violence towards and the killings of civilian protesters committed by the Colombian security forces was not only totally unacceptable, but in violation of that trade agreement. On 17 January, the Foreign Secretary told the Marshal that we shouldn't be engaged in free trade negotiations with countries abusing human rights. So I asked the Noble Lord, the Minister, what, if anything, the government will do to hold the Colombian government to their trade agreement commitments if our investigations show what is obvious to everyone? My Lords, I agree with the Noble Lord. It's important we hold countries to their human rights commitments. On the actual trade agreement, of course, it's yet to be ratified by Colombia. However, nevertheless, through the direct engagement of both our embassy and my colleague, Minister Morton, who is responsible for our relations with Colombia, we have spoken directly with the Colombian authorities, and they are now pursuing a full range of investigations into alleged misconduct by the police, and we welcome those steps that are being taken to strengthen justice and accountability. Wilton. My Lord, it is not just the reported killings that are cause for such concern, but also the return of another familiar tactic from Colombia's long civil conflict, disappearances. Human rights groups say they've recorded up to 700 cases in recent months. So can I ask my noble friend, the Minister, what representations the UK government has made to the Colombian authorities about this particular aspect of the protests? My Lords, again, I agree with the noble lady that it is important specifically on the concerns she's highlighted and we have made representations through nations both through ministerial engagement and regularly make uh, representations through our embassy on the ground and we continue to support the support for transitional justice within colombia as a key part of our support my lords, does the minister agree that the FTA was breached when the Colombian police targeted clearly identified journalists and human rights defenders in the recent protests, seriously injuring many of them in an attempt to prevent them from reporting? What, if any, specific representations has the UK made to the Colombian government about this, especially as we recently co-hosted the Global Conference for Media Freedom? My Lord, uh, the noble lady is again correct. We have prioritised the issue of media freedom in terms of our work globally, and I can assure the noble lady we have raised the issue of a broad range of human rights abuses and concerns that have arisen, particularly from the re recent protests. And in this regard, we do welcome that there is a specific concerted attempt to look into investigations and hold to account those who have committed these particular crimes. Gody. My lords, this, my lords, it is concerning to learn um, that 83 people recently suffered gender-based violence during a social protest in Colombia. My lords, once during a social protest in Colombia. My lords, one of the people who was arbitrarily detained was a young woman who was only 17 and allegedly UK globally has taken a lead on prevention of conflict related to sexual violence. What representation? is the UK making to the Colombian government on the alleged sexual assault? My Lord, sir, what I will certainly do is follow up on the noble lady's specific case and ensure that a, an appropriate representation is made. As the noble lady is aware, in my capacity 
as the Prime Minister's special representative on preventing sexual violence particularly in conflict, and that means building post-conflict as well. And um, this is a key area of priority for our government. Ivory. My Lords, I have raised with the Noble Lord, the Minister, on a number of occasions, the question of Britain's training programme uh, with the Colombian police, and most recently in May. And as we've heard uh, from the reports of the demonstrations, violence committed by the police involving potentially between 26 and 44 deaths and, as my noble friend raised, question of sexual assault. So can the noble lord explain exactly what we are doing to ensure measures are taken to ensure that the Colombian security forces are held to account for their human rights abuses? My Lord, the noble Lord is quite correct that he has raised this issue and we continue to ensure in terms of our training of overseas law enforcement officers, it's fully supported by ensuring that we re review all training initiatives and that they put human rights at the forefront of their direct engagement. On the specifics, the 220 investigations that I've uh, alluded to, they are specifically against misconduct by the police, and these are now open, and we are following and monitoring progress on these particular cases. Uh, my Lords, anyone who has travelled uh, in Colombia will know that it is both one of the most beautiful and most violent places on earth. Agencies like Human Rights Watch have identified the lack of separation between the police and the military as contributing to the force and use of live ammunition to control protesters. Does the minister agree that one way we might attempt to use any influence we have will be to push for a greater separation between these agencies? My Lords, I agree with the Noble Lord, and certainly I will take that forward and agree with the premise that we need to see a clear demarcation between the responsibilities um, of the police in this respect. Uh, my Lords, I refer to my interests as recorded in the register. Uh, a recent ruling from the Transitional Justice Court named 10 Colombian army officers as responsible for murdering 120 civilians and disappearing 24 in, 20, in 2007 8 These cases relate to the so-called false positives. The Colombian state stands accused of killing close to 6,500 civilians uh, addressing them as guerrillas uh, during the Arube presidency. Given the hostility to the Transitional Justice Court from certain quarters in Colombia, can the noble Lord, the Minister, repeat uh, Britain's support for this, uh, for this institution and welcome the positive engagement of former FARC commanders who have recognised their roles in crimes during the armed conflict? My Lords, I am happy to confirm the fact that the Colombian government's long-standing commitment to assisting former guerrilla fighters to civilian life in their transition following the peace agreement, and we remain very much committed. Indeed, we've committed over £63 million of support since 2015 through the Complex Stability and Security Fund directly to Colombia. Park? Do was that Baroness Gardner of Parks, you asked? Park? Do was that Baroness Gardner of Parks, you asked? Hello? Your turn to speak. Thank you very much. Can the Minister comment on whether the government joined in the condemnation by the United Nations of the violent repression of protests in Colombia between police and demonstrators in May, which left at least 18 people dead and 87 missing? And what other steps may it be considering? Thank you. My Lords, I can confirm that to my noble friend. We've made representations through discussions at the United Nations. And I've already said we continue to make representations through my ministerial colleague, uh, Minister Morton, as well as our ambassador to Colombia. My Lords. If the reported killings are correct, should we not cancel the trade agreement?
My Lords, um, I believe the trade agreement, as the noble Lord may, may recollect, has specific articles, Article 1 and Article 8, contained within the trade agreement, which ensures that human rights are upheld. We will continue as the ratification process continues, because the uh, ratification process continues because uh, uh, Colombia are yet to ratify that trade agreement, continue to uphold that aspect of the trade agreement, but equally as we lend support to ensuring that we can improve trade and prosperity for all Colombians. My Lords, all supplementary questions have been asked, and we now move to the next question.